Welcome guys to your Gaming Techies VR show, a show where we look at PC VR, PSVR, and mobile VR so you guys don't have to waste your time and money. And today, we're looking at a game on the Oculus Quest called Sports Scramble. Now this is very reminiscent of like Wii Sports of back in the day when you get to play tennis, you get to play baseball, and you get to play bowling. It's $29.99 and it's exclusive for the Quest. Is it worth our time and our money? Let's go ahead and find out. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, here we are with Sports Scramble on the Oculus Quest. I'm excited to give you guys a look into this game. This game is obviously made exclusively for the Quest at the moment, uh, made from Oculus Studios and tennis. We have bowling over here, we have baseball over here. And we have versus mode over here to play online multiplayer and then your trophy collection over here So let's run through a couple of these uh, or well, actually we'll run through all three sports here So let's go to do tennis tennis. All right, let's hit the court uh, You can see here that there's training mode quick play and challenges that you can go and we're gonna do quick play on here Quick play and you can edit all this out now uh, edit all this out rules and scramble We're gonna do scramble for all the sports because that's what makes this game different but you can come in here and change the rules from scramble to normal and you'll just play a regular tennis match, a regular bowling match, and a regular baseball match instead. You can choose the games to win and all that stuff. Um, so that is what that is. We'll go ahead and hit play. Now this gives you a feeling like Wii Sports uh, when the Switch first came oh, out. Good try. Good try. Um, and it's just a whole lot of fun to play. It feels just like we used tennis when it came out and stuff. And uh, it's all a lot of it's fun. It's a ping go. pong ball. Now we're playing with the ping pong. Here we go with the sports scramble uh, idea in the title. It is obviously this right here. And that was terrible. Point. Where the balls can change, the rackets Service can change, change, the neck can rise Your up and down. Is now all those kinds of things. And the serve. And the racket change. You've got a baseball bat. Oh man, my outs right now are not doing very well. And the serve. It's a football. Oh my god, this just is bad. Just a bit outside. Uh, we're gonna have to make a big comeback here because I'm just throwing this all out. Service change. It's now your serve. Right, here we go. Here comes the serve. It's an accelerator ball. Got him. They didn't know what to do with that. I know. Here comes the surf. A couple of more of those and that'd be good. Bone finger. Ooh, watch out. Your opponent has an equipment match. Oh, because it's a football. Oh, crap. Oh, I got him. Nope. Yep. Point. Uh, the equipment match in the game is if your equipment that you're hitting with a racket also matches the ball that's in play, um, it will get, you'll, they'll get like bonus speeds and, uh, and stuff like that when you're hitting the ball. The surf. Like right now. Jesus. That was a fast one, because it's got the football in like, you know, bone finger in a football match, so. And the surf. Oh, I gotta go right. That baseball gives you an equipment match. Now I have the equipment match, because we're hitting a baseball and I got a bat in my hand. Service change. It is now your serve. So here goes the baseball. Here comes the serve. Well, let's try that again. Here comes the serve. It's a basketball. Out. Yeah, they court, I just rest. Here's a quick match for all of that stuff because that one was super fast too. So I guess here comes basketball the and football and all that since it's you know bone finger in the stadium, it's giving them an equipment match no matter what. And the racket change, you've got a fish. Oh my god, I got a fish? How am I supposed to hit anything? That This guy's throwing at me with a fish. Service change. God Your opponent it. is now serving. At least it's tied up. And the serve. Oh, look at this thing. Here comes a racket change. Oh, thank God. You've got a full noodle. Uh, oh my God, I've never even seen this before. This is my first time seeing this one. What the hell is this? And the serve. Here comes a racket change. You've got a ping pong paddle. 
I was even worse. Point. Congratulations. Oh, never mind, I won't. You won. I'll take that solid comeback. Oh, uh, so that gives you guys an idea of what tennis is like and the craziness that goes on in the match. Uh, when you play tennis, uh, you know, even the, the uh, net can rise and stuff like that and throw things off. So let's kind of go to bowling. Bowling's, uh, I think, really fun. Bowling? Throw. Game on. Let's hit some pins. Please move to Same idea with this way. Quick play. Quick play. Same options, we'll leave this at home. There we go. Here we'll play uh, the kind of CPU over there, we're playing against us. Best of three in this game is how this one works. Three, two, one. So this one's got some cool stuff in it. Um, Hopefully we get to see. I don't know what I just did. Hopefully we get to see a few of them. You can see that every time you throw the ball, not only are the balls all crazy and stuff, uh, the actual uh, track here also changes. So, uh, that was terrible. This basketball one is really cool. If you match that little thing, so. Yep, perfect. There you go. Fair. You earned a bomb ball. So the, the, this is really cool. Oh, this one's hard. Nope. That was a fail. That one's real hard. Let's take this bomb, though. Right. Thank you are the gold ball. Take game one. FYI, these CPUs are on uh, normal, so you can definitely make it harder Three, than what it is two, right now. One. I'll chop it on normal. I'll take this pineapple. Oh, I've never seen this one before. These football guys are all over the place trying to block you. Really? Are you serious? I've never seen one of this either. I don't know what I was trying to do there. That's hard. Oh, this is a good one. I like this, this thing. It's so good. You know, of course, if that happens, the clown laughs at you. What a joke. Hops all Eight, over the place. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I uh, just beat him at the last second. And you won the match. Congratulations. But that gives you guys a little bit of idea of the craziness that happens. Uh, unfortunately, the one that shows up didn't actually show up for us that time, which is unfortunate. But basically, it's a Space Invaders one where you got the Space Invader characters coming towards you, 
and you have to hit them before they get to your, uh, you know, to the end of the bowling line, or else they get negative points on you. And you, when you roll a ball at them, they like they get rid of the space invader. So there's some cool inventive stuff in the game. Space invader one being like really cool as far as the bowling alley go, uh, goes. So that gives you guys an idea. Uh, let's go ahead and try baseball here. Baseball. Let's go to the ballpark. Quick play. Go ahead and edit your settings. You can even change how many pitches it takes to get a strikeout. Uh, let's just do one inning because some of these run long. Uh, scramble the ball. You can even change it to just scramble the ball or scramble the rackets too that you're using. Difficulty normal. We'll leave all that the same. You can choose exactly what you want to scramble baseball. They scramble the, the, the bat and also the ball that you're throwing. So you can change either one. Alright. I like that you can actually stand on the mound here and you actually get to catch the ball, which is cool. Play ball. And here's the pitch. Already starting off well. A double. Your opponent now has a metal bat. Right. A single. Watch out. Your opponent now has a golden bat. Strike. That's strike number one. Sometimes you get to throw a different ball, but I guess we don't have any yet. Uh, it's not letting me change anything. Strike! That's All strike right. number Maybe two. Maybe we'll get our first strike out right here. Let's see. Let's try to hit him in the corner. Don't just drop the ball. Strike. Caught him. That's out number one. Caught him looking. Second out. Add a boy. That's not good. A double. Yeah. We're gonna have to get this out. A home run. Oh no. Uh. Ball. Strike. There you go. That's strike number one. Oh my god, you were right next to it. Oops. That was awkward. That's a single. Can't get anything going right now. This is going well, guys. Five nothing in the first inning. Oh, six nothing. Excuse me. An error. That's a single. Literally ridiculous. Strike. 
That's strike number one. A single. Nobody can get anything right now. Maybe just a really bad pitcher, one or the other. Ball. Hmm. Ball. Oh, I thought I got the corner on the strike. A triple. This game's gonna end up being like 20 nothing by the time I get up to bat. I remember we did one inning, imagine. And we're on normal. I like just suck at pitching at this game. He got that out. A triple. Are you kidding me? He dropped the ball. Oh my god, the errors on this team. I feel like I'm watching the Mets. Well. That's strike number one. Thanks. You're out. Finally. And that's the third out. Switch cool, so out. I gotta get ten runs to win. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. That is not gonna happen. Here's the pitch. One out already. First five seconds. It's gonna be another out. That's a double. It's a golf. Oh, Look at that beach ball. That's a single. You're back to a wooden bat. How's that out? It hit the floor. Oh, because they assume they got him at first. No. Or second. A single. There you go. You earned a metal bat. Got a little nervous that he was going to catch that out there. There you go. That's a double. A hockey stick. I'll take a hockey stick. Is that a home run? Nope, that's gonna be an out. You're out. Out three. And that's the end of the match. Better luck next time. Well, guys, that game is baseball. You can see some of the craziness with the balls being thrown at you and the baseball bats that they're doing and stuff like that. Um, let's go back to the main menu here. Uh, that gives you guys a little bit of the flavor of what the game is like. Like I said before, there's versus mode for all three of these online. You can play these online multiplayer. And they do work well uh, when you're in there, uh, as far as that goes, and as far as the gameplay and stuff. Very little lag from what I've experienced with the people I played with. Um, so, guys, that is Sports Grandma. Let's go ahead and get to the table. Let's talk about this game. See if this game is worth your full $29.99 price, and if it's worth if it's worth your time on the Oculus Quest. All right, guys. So that was Sports Grandma on the Oculus Quest. Um, it is an exclusive game that that's come out for the system. Uh, it's obviously made by Oculus Studios, as you saw in the intro there, and. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. As you guys saw, there's three different sports games that you can play in this game. There's the tennis, baseball, and bowling. And all of them, uh, living up to the name, it's scrambling up the sports by letting you, for example, in baseball, you get to use different bats uh, that you get, uh, whether it be worse ones or better ones. Uh, there was like, And it's really wonky stuff, as you guys saw in the video. It could be anything from like a giraffe thing that you're using. It could be a fish that you're using to really mess you up. Or you can get a golden bat that's you know, uh, a good thing. Things like that, uh, wooden regular wooden bats, of course. And then on the pitcher side, you'd be throwing, you'd be getting balls. Uh, it could be anything from beach balls, basketballs, regular uh, baseballs, golf, you know, all golf balls, any of those things that can come up and you can throw. And something I, I should mention that I forgot to do in the video is the reason that I didn't get to throw a lot of those pitches, even though you saw the computer do it in that video, is because I forgot that when you get one of those, when you hit one of the targets in the box, like you just saw when you're pitching, that is actually how you collect the items to throw. And when you catch the ball, once you let go of the mitt, 
like from the catching form, it pops up all the balls that you have, and that's how you can throw them. And I totally slipped my mind when I was making a video to do that, but just know that that's an option in there, of course. Um, and then, of course, you move along to bowling, and bowling obviously uh, changes the actual lane, which does some really cool stuff with the lane. I really like that, how they really change up the lane, and it changes up the gameplay and stuff like that. Uh, the Space Inventors one, unfortunately, didn't come up in this video uh, when I was doing the gameplay, but um, that one's a really cool one, as I talked about earlier. Uh, how the Space Invader characters come down and you, you throw the ball and you're trying to get them on. If they get to the edge of the bowling um, lane, you know, you get minus points on your board. Um, so some really inventive stuff in there. And then, of course, you got the balls around you. Same thing. You can throw basketballs, baseballs, uh, um, some variety of uh, pineapple even down there. And they all react in certain ways and, and do different things depending on how you throw them. It can really mess you up or do the good things for you. Um, and then moving along to tennis... Um, tennis uh, obviously changes the rackets that you're doing to really wacky rackets that you're hitting people, and the balls obviously change as well. Um, so that's really cool. And something to mention about tennis, which is really cool compared to the other ones that you obviously don't really move around much. I took this actually outside to you know play a little bit outside on the Oculus Quest. Obviously, when the sun was already down, because um, you can't bring this outside in the sun, or you will break your lens within seconds. Uh, but and you can't play in a pitch dark and see this. You got like a one hour to one and a half window, depending on where you are. So I took it outside and I mapped my whole entire backyard out there, or almost my whole entire backyard. And it really takes tennis to the next level, uh, depending on how much room you have. Obviously, if you have a big room inside, that's even better, because uh, then you could do this inside. But I don't have like the most enormous space in here, uh, even though my space is pretty large, um, you know, for most things. But in this one. I took it outside and it's awesome because you basically, now you got the whole entire tennis court that you're running around. So instead of the ball, like you saw in the video, kind of coming like right here and like right here, like the, the vicinity of you where you're standing because it knows you don't have a lot of room. And this one, you're literally moving and running down the court like if you were playing a real tennis match outside. And it really brings tennis to the next level. You really feel like you're actually playing tennis now because you're running to the edge of the court, swinging that ball around. It's something that everybody should try at least once. Just be extra careful when you go out there. Uh, make sure the sun's not in any way uh, hitting it. Um, and, and not outside at all when you go out there, but it, it's something everyone needs to try because it was a hell of an experience, so that was really cool. Um, of course, some of you move along, this game actually has versus multiplayer as well, all three sports. I, uh, played all three sports online, didn't have any lag with anybody I played, voice chat seemed to work, I didn't really have any issues, uh, as far as that goes, so I had a lot of fun playing that online with people and voice chatting with them and had a lot of fun playing those sports. Um, graphics, as you can tell, is very reminiscent of, like, a obviously a little bit better than that, but like Wii Sports, uh, when that came out, uh, when Wii Tennis and stuff like that, it's got that kind of vibe towards it. I really like it. Uh, it fits the Quest perfectly. It runs obviously perfectly. The graphics still look nice uh, and cartoony, but uh, adds a lot of fun flavor to the game. And you got the unlockables with the avatar skins that you're unlocking and stuff like that. You got the trophies that you're unlocking. Uh, obviously, it has tutorials for all the the mo all the three sports that are in there and show you how to use things and how to bring up the uh, scramble modes and all that kind of stuff. And don't forget, you can obviously play this game if you don't like the scrambling stuff that you saw in the video and you just want to play straight tennis, baseball, and all that stuff. Options literally let you turn off scramble mode and you're just playing those those uh, sports regularly. So options for everybody here. Uh, in any way you want to play it. And online actually lets you play specifically with a friend as well. So not only can you join a quick match. Um, it's nice that this game, because not every game in VR does, let you actually invite a friend into the room from your friends list and straight up just play with each other. So that's a really nice feature as well that I wish every game as a standard nowadays should have in VR, but some don't. Uh, so it's nice to see that here and make it easily playable with your friends. Um, the only negative I can think of here, uh, the game is $30. I don't think that's a negative because I think that's actually, you know, uh, fine price for it uh, the, with the enjoyment I got out of it, even though some people may think it's like $10 too high. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun with it, and it has a, a lot of different uh, ways to play the game and uh, online and all that stuff. Um, I wish it had like four or five different sports. Um, obviously, as a big hockey fan, I wish hockey was in here because they did VR Challenge on the um, uh, originally on the Rift when that came out, and playing goalie in hockey is awesome. And I hope that if they don't do it, someone else does it. But I'm really hoping for DLC in this game. Uh, with it, you know, you could pay like $10 or whatever the, the case is going to be that they charge for a full-fledged sports game that has online multiplayer and everything else in here, but just another full sports game. Obviously, hockey would be the one that I want them to do next, and I think that that's something they can do. Um, with you rotating, um, you know, being goalie and then shooting against the CPU, that would be so much fun to be shooting and playing goalie back and forth. God damn, I wish they could do it. Um because I really want a hockey game on the Switch where you can actually play goalie. Um, same thing uh, with soccer. You can uh, do penalty shootout kind of thing where you're playing the goalie and vice versa. 
Um, those are the two sports games that I wish they would add, and maybe we'll hear something that they'll add DLC. I don't know, um, but I could hope. So that's the only negative I really have with the game. I mean, the game's a lot of fun to play, a lot of fun to just show, a very easy game to show your friends that get, uh, you know, obviously it's very easy to show them how to play. You get them in tennis, and, you know, they're just swinging the thing around and, and playing tennis. There's nothing easy to it. Same thing with bowling. Uh, I had my nephew play it. He's like four years old, and he was able to play it with no problems at all. So, uh, very, very good family game. Very fun game online. Works well. And it's definitely a game that I recommend, uh, especially since it's an exclusive on the Quest right now. And, um, you know, one of the standout titles that no one's actually played before on the Quest that's, you know, brand new for it. So, guys, if you guys have any questions about anything you guys saw in today's video, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Tech, gaming tech, is the gaming tech, gaming techie, gaming tech. Eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie.